Hi Year 10, welcome to today's lesson. Uh, it's good to have you here. Um, thank you for doing your rhythm exercises based on Bach's Badenary. It's really great to see some of you exploring those rhythms and hopefully you'll be more familiar with the rhythms that Bach explored in his piece, um, which is going to help you when it comes to analysing it. So we're going to move on from the rhythms that he used and we're going to look at uh, melodies that he explored in the piece over the next few lessons. Um, so just as a sort of pre-lesson before we start creating your own melodies based around his melodies, um, it's important that we look at how melodies are created and how you can make them as good as you can possibly make them and also know some of the terminology around melodic devices. So for today's lesson, you are going to need a pen, a pencil and a ruler, your blue music exercise book, your phone to take a picture of your work at the end and you're going to need the internet for research. So if you could just make sure, you can just pause the video now and just make sure that you've got all of those things before we start. Okay, so when it comes to melodies uh, or tunes, but melodies is the, uh, the, the, the more kind of formal word for it, Composers don't just sort of throw notes together randomly. Um, there's always some methodology behind it, um, and there are, you know, the, these the melodies are thought through. They're not just a random collection of notes. And there are different techniques that are very sort of carefully thought out by composers to create a sense of unity between notes um, and phrases. And these techniques are hundreds of years old. You know, people before Bach were using them. He, he took them from composers before him, and we've taken them from composers then and, and into the present day, and we're still using these melodic techniques now uh, because they work. So um, we're going to sort of explore those today. So, so we're going to look at musical devices. So... What is a musical device? Well, a device, if we're not even thinking in musical terms, is something that's adapted to do a particular job. So, for example, this device is a spanner and its particular role, it's been adapted to do a particular job, which is tighten and loosen bolts. OK, that's why it's the shape it is. It's been very carefully thought through. So, so a device is anything that, that does a job um, really. Okay, so what's a musical device? So musical devices are tools used by composers when creating their pieces of music. They're intentional and they're thought through and they are used to, cre to create particular effects in their pieces. And really there are three main types of musical devices that composers are constantly thinking about when they're creating melodies and rhythms and harmonies. So the first task I'd like you to do today is I'd like us to create a table in your blue books. Um, so if you can start by writing today's date uh, and the title, which is Musical Devices. And then underneath that, I'd like you to draw uh, a table like the one that's just below. And the headings are Melodic Devices, Rhythmic Devices and Harmonic Devices. So if you could just use your pen or pencil uh, and ruler to create that table in your book, you can pause this video now um, and create that table. So hopefully you've created your nice neat table now. Now on the next slide, there's going to be a series of lots of musical devices. Now what I would like you to do is have a look at these musical devices and put them into the correct columns in your table to the best of your understanding. Now, you'll probably need to look most of them up. So you've got them, the bulk of the lesson to do this. Um, and then just use your own sort of logic to think about which type of device they are. Are they, is it a melodic device or is repetition? Is it a melodic device? Is it a rhythmic device or is it a harmonic device? Um, now, some of them belong in more than one column. So you may think, repetition belongs in two columns or three columns. Um, so can you break these down and just put them in each column? Like I say, you've got plenty of time um, to, to look them up online. 
Now, once you've finished putting them in the columns, um, what I would like you to do is take a photo of your table and upload it onto assignments in Teams for this lesson um, so that I can have a look at your decisions about where these, these devices belong. So once you've done that, this is your final task. So each of your names are in the table below and what I'm doing is I'm assigning you two devices that you've just listed in your table that I'd like you to be able to explain clearly in detail at the start of your next Teams lesson with Mr Radford, so you can explain them to each other um, and explain them to Mr Radford. And once you've done that, you're going to move on to um, putting these, these musical devices in context with your own sort of compositions. So that's what I'd like you to do today, please. If you have any questions, just send me a little message on Teams, I'll be here. Uh, or drop me an email. Um, okay, good luck.